Hey everyone, it's that time of the year again. It is, well, E3, wait. There is no damn E3. It's Summer Game... Nintendo's never actually done anything at Summer Game Fest. I don't know, it's video game rumor season and... You know, setting aside the E3, the Summer Game Fest, the Prime Gaming Fest, setting all that aside, just looking historically at Nintendo. No rumors, no leaks, no nothing. Just looking at them historically, it's something like 26 of the last 27 years, Nintendo has had a direct style or in-person, as they used to do with press conferences, presentation in June. In fact, it's always happened the second week in June, usually between the 12th and the 16th, right? Whatever Tuesday happened to be the second Tuesday of the month or the second week in the month. However it lined up. This year, it happens to be June 14th, and I'm not telling you a Nintendo Direct will be happening on June 14th, but there is a reason that our Prime Gaming Fest runs through June 14th. Just throwing that out there. Now, setting that aside, we obviously know Nintendo is probably doing something in June. So we already know Nintendo has a number of games they need to advertise. You know, like Splatoon 3, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, Bayonetta 3, I don't know 3, Prime Gaming Fest 3. I, look, the 3 is just a kind of a recurring theme for Nintendo right now. But there is so much more going on than just that. Obviously, we have the, uh, well, I mean, they won't need to advertise this at, at the show, but there are, is Mario Strikers Battle League coming out on June 10th. But then, obviously, later in June, we have Fire Emblem Warriors 3. Three hopes and so much more games we don't have dates for how about mario plus rabbit sparks of hope technically ubisoft makes it but mario is in the game so yeah that could obviously be something that's at a nintendo direct so there is so much that they have to advertise just for this year alone let alone talking about what the hell's going on next year see at, at, at june last year we learned about things coming this year next year right now the only confirmed game is breath of the wild 2 so this is also usually around the time of the year we hear about one or two games that are going to end up coming next year. So what we're doing with this video, this video is really important because it does contain rumors, does contain potential leaks. That's all fine. But if these rumors and leaks are true, then this could end up being one of the best Nintendo Directs of all time. So let's dive into this a bit. First, I want to go over the known quantities. These are the games officially announced by Nintendo that we are probably due to hear something about very soon. Breath of the Wild 2, they don't have to talk about it at this upcoming, uh, you know, June Direct, but it is something to keep in the back of our minds. It is obviously one of Nintendo's most hyped games. The first one's probably going to cross 30 million units on Nintendo Switch. Insane to think a Zelda game could sell 30 million units on any platform, let alone a single one, let, you know, whatever. Cool, so 30 mil. Splatoon 3, yeah, that's kind of a big deal. That's coming up here in September. That's a big deal. Xenoblade Chronicles 3, that's another big deal, right? We talked about those. Bayonetta 3, supposedly still coming this year, no release date. We're due to get a release date. Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Oh, and don't forget, Nintendo also technically has Metroid Prime 4 confirmed as a thing. Haven't heard anything about it, but hey, Metroid, you know, Dread did really well last year. So maybe this is where we hear something about Metroid Prime 4. So we can't rule that out. Those are known quantities from Nintendo. I didn't go over literally everything Live Alive and the Fire Emblem Warriors. Yeah, don't really know. But if we look into everything over the last, I don't know, nine months that has been rumored is coming to Nintendo Switch, some from some very reliable people, uh, that lines up for a very interesting direct. So let's first off start with Twilight Princess and the Wind Waker HD. Uh, these games have been rumored by a number of people. We're gonna, we're just going to kind of pin the rumors on Jeff Grubb right now as the primary source for this. Uh, he is a video game journalist, and that's one reason why I'm going to sort of pin it on him. Tom Henderson and others out there, other video game journalists as well, have said these games are done and ready to go on Switch. Uh, and we all know Nintendo likes to have something, you know, nin, you know, something Zelda come out every single year, and they typically don't count DLC as a fill-in or a Nintendo Switch online release. We haven't seen DLC or an online release be the Zelda release for the year. Don't believe me? Let's actually just look at the history on Nintendo Switch. In 2017, we obviously had, uh, you know, 
Breath of the Wild, right? Like, that's a given. In 2018, we ended up having, what was it again? Oh, right, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. So a Wii U game coming over in, in a Definitive Edition form because there was extra content on Hyrule Warriors Legends on 3DS that they wanted to throw into one package and give it to you guys. Okay, cool. And then we got to 2019. What was that? Oh, wait, Link's Awakening. Oh, then we got to 2020. What was that again? Oh, wait, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Oh, then what happened in 2021? Skyward Sword HD. Now, along the way, they added Zelda games to the eShop. Along the way, we had DLC. Uh, but again, none of that was actually a fill-in for releasing an actual game. Whether it was a remake, a port, or whatever, the Nintendo Switch Online and DLC has never actually been that fill-in, at least here on Nintendo Switch. So, so considering that... This does bring the Twilight Princess and Wind Waker HD rumors to the forefront as something that would be announced here and released sometime between June and November. Probably before Pokemon, probably before Bayonetta. Maybe it's a summer release. Maybe it comes out in August. Right now, August does not have any major game at, the, at this point. And Nintendo, just like with Skyward Sword HD, they only gave us like a two to three month warning on Skyward Sword HD. They could do that again. So... Yeah, let's just keep that in the back of our minds that the rumors already exist. These games are supposedly done, and it makes a lot of sense to have them at the Direct. But more than that, we got more going on. Let's go back to late last year when Donkey Kong rumors were coming out. A new Donkey Kong in the works by part of the team that made Mario Odyssey. Not, not the same. Basically, there is a separate team in the Mario team, but some of the people on the team were uh, made Mario Odyssey working on Donkey Kong. And this made people think... Oh, man, we're getting a 3D Donkey Kong. Lots of debate over if it's a 3D or a side-scroller. I don't know. But the rumors really come from, like, Andy Robertson at Video Game Chronicles, who also did a report on the Donkey Kong movie supposedly being made. Nate the Hate was obviously at the center of some of this. You know, Nate the Hate, Nate Drake, Direct Feet Games. He's got a whole bunch of usernames, but all the same person. Uh, and then Zippo as well. I know I don't really rely on Zippo for much of anything, but hey, it's somebody just piling on the rumor train. We have multiple sources on the Donkey Kong thing. I think Emily Rogers might have even said something at some point. So yeah, Donkey Kong, some sort of Donkey Kong game coming was in the works. Would make a lot of sense to announce it and maybe be a 2023 game to possibly coincide with a Donkey Kong movie in 2023. Just throwing that out there. All right. Next up, Metroid Prime HD remaster, remake. What do you want to call it? Emily Rogers has been talking about this since 2018. And now she's basically saying the game is done. It's done. It's floating around Nintendo of America, Nintendo of Europe. It's literally sitting in their office. Done. So when's it coming out? And this is just the first one. Now, Nate the Hate has said two and three are rumored to be worked on as well, but work might not be done on those. But Metroid Prime 1, the remake, remaster, whatever they're doing with it, the hd defying of that game is complete. Makes a lot of sense to keep the Metroid momentum going after Dread. If Metroid Prime 4 is not going to come this year, then we get a Metroid Prime HD potentially announced at that Direct. Like, you see how the rumors are lining up for a really jam-packed Direct? Oh, there's more. What if I told you... There's a new rumored game. Just came out today. Astral Chain 2. You guys remember Astral Chain? That amazing game, you know, that, that came out, what was that? 2019, I think, is, is when that is when the original came out. You guys can uh, fact check me on that one. I don't remember the exact day. I'm pretty sure it was 2019. I think it came out the same year as Damon X Machina and Luigi's Mansion 3, but I could be wrong. Uh, but yeah, that was made by Platinum Games. And it was a surprising hit. It was sort of a mid-budget a uh, game that came out and sold over a million copies and did really, really well. It would make a lot of sense if Nintendo and Platinum were working on an Astral Chain 2. And the rumor actually states that it'll be announced not only, you know, like next month, it'll come out next year. So, cool. Who does this rumor come from? Another person that I don't think is super reliable and Marco Maro on Twitter. However... Just looking at it logically, the first one did well. It's been about four years since the first one was made, or it will have been four years anyways by 2023. Uh, that's about all you need to, to make a game like this. Astral Chain 2 makes a lot of sense to follow up the original Astral Chain. Platinum and Nintendo do work really well together. I could see this being a game that does come out in 2023. Caveat there, you know, who knows about 2023 games because, hey, there could be a new Switch platform at some point at 2023 or 2024 as well. Nintendo has to worry about. Now, the last one that I want to bring up, and you can argue this is a bit more speculative than anything, but I don't know, is we've had a lot of rumors over Fire Emblem games. 
I don't I the I can't even find the original source on the Fire Emblem rumors because there's been so many media and other people talking about it, everyone co-linking, crossing around each other. I don't even know where these rumors started, and we covered them at this channel, and even when I looked at the sources on that, it still was kind of co-linking all over the place. So Fire Emblem something, a remake. A, a new Fire Emblem, something. Remember, the last one was in 2019, and we usually were getting them, you know, on 3DS anyways every two to three years. Sort of would make sense if they have something in the in the works that isn't just the Warriors game made by Koei Tecmo. So just throwing that out there as well, that's another potential massive announcement at their June Direct. Now, all that set aside, I obviously have no idea what, if anything, Nintendo is going to reveal that June Direct. But we do know there's been so many rumors percolating over the last nine months that could be culminating in this Direct, filling out the rest of the slate of games this year, not just with the known games, but with unknown, and obviously getting us hyped up for stuff coming in 2023. Uh, all I know is, hey, if it does happen in the time frame that we think it will, we will be covering it at Prime Gaming Fest, where we have so much going on, including a giveaway of this. You see this? This is about, uh, what is this? A, 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 how tall is this compared to a Switch? I mean, this is this is with a, a, a grip on, but yeah, this is a, a really cool Hylian Shield PVC um, from First Four Figures. We're giving away one of these bad boys during Prime Gaming Fest, along with thousands of dollars of other giveaways, including one we have going on right now for Mario Plus, uh, was it not Mario Plus Rabbids? Mario Strikers Battle League. We got two copies of that being given away. You can go down to the link in the pinned comment or the description for that. Uh, but yeah, Prime Gaming Fest is coming up fast from June 9th to June 14th. Uh, it starts, June 9th is at 9 a.m. June 10th starts at 9 a.m. June uh, 11th starts at 8 a.m. June 12th starts at 9 a.m. Uh, June 13th at 9 a.m. and June 14th at 9 a.m. as well. So we, we have 9 a.m. on every day except Saturday. Uh, we have video game tournaments going on. We have a we have a what is it? Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Splatoon 2 as well, and a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tournament. Uh, we have a whole bunch of competitions going on as well between Eric and I uh, with punishments. We have competitions with the chat that are going to be happening. That's either going to punish or reward Eric and I depending on how the competition goes. Does the chat win or do we win? How does that work? I guess you'll have to wait and find out. We are currently building out our schedules. We do have our schedules complete for day one and day two of the show. We're working on day three right now. Um, and day four is big because we have the Xbox stuff. We, you know, we're going to be live reacting to all of the various uh, news out there from the Xbox Showcase to Summer Game Fest, Tribeca Festival, Future Game Show, PC Gaming Show, Nintendo Direct, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All the stuff that happens in that time period we are going to be live reacting to. But also providing a lot of entertainment to you guys as well. Entertaining segments of Nate vs. Eric. The chat gets involved. Uh, we have all the giveaways. As I said, thousands of dollars. Many partner companies from Ubisoft to Skull & Company to First Four Figures to... Gosh, it just keeps expanding, right? And we're investing our own money into some of these giveaways as well. They're not all sponsored giveaways. We actually are spending, you know, over $1,000 of our own money on giveaways between consoles and collectibles and, and just really cool merchandise. We're really excited to really dive all in to Prime Gaming Fest. So uh, hopefully we see you guys there and hopefully we get a nice jam-packed Nintendo Direct uh, because I am really, really excited for what's in store. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojans from Nintendo Prime. Now I got to go and edit this video and eat some lunch. Uh, my fiance, bless her soul, for the first time in like a year, made me lunch. Cool. I'm going to go have some eggs and some toast. Catch you guys in the next video.